Yeah. I I just said, look at this sweet baby prince. And then you hopped on and said, what up, gay boys? (laughs) Dude, my like zipper on my shorts pocket is like stuck. So I was like stuck outside my building trying to get my keys. And I had to like rip a hole in the pocket just to get it open. So it kind of sucks, but gooch. Sometimes you talk softly. Sometimes you're like, hey, I'm Jake fucking F. Jake Is that your, is that your look- impression of me? <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 actually, I was actually going to accidentally say, uh, <laughs> you, never say, you never say your last name on air. So I almost said it and I didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't hide it. It's just, I've always gone by Jake F. H. or. JFH. Yeah, like JFK. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is a trip for me. I have my setup in set up on a de- desk that was formerly Tai Tai's room in Logan right now. Nice. Oh, you're with Tai Tai? No, I'm in what you I, I have my shit set up at his childhood desk. Oh, okay. Oh, you're at your mom's house. Yeah. So it's just nice. kind of weird for me to be high as balls and podcasting i can't really? we've smoke. gotten high at your mom's house before we've done coke in your mom's yeah. house <laughs> <laughs> no i'm talking I'm more of a girl's butt <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's insane <laughs> of course oh, yeah. you guys did that of course <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the times they have <laughs> changed. <laughs> That's crazy. I forgot about <laughs> that. Yeah. You're like, oh man, it's so it's so sketchy. Me being high now in my mom's house. <laughs> no, it was more of just like it's weird that I'm podcasting here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was more of a comment that it feels weird to be doing this podcast here. At my brother's a desk that's like otherwise set sat unused for probably at least like five years. When you finally put it to good use, dude. I uh, ate an edible. Nice, dude. I just bought some chronic. Hell yeah! Pretty psyched. Living that life, yeah, dog. La vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> Um, dude, I just took Ko and a couple of his friends to uh, a haunted trail here in Logan. Aye. Dude, it was pretty sick. But that being said, I'm sure it was said about us too. But kids are fucking weird, man. Oh yeah, I, I've seen like 12 year olds these days, and I'm just like, ugh, you guys suck. But then I'm sure I was just like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Jake. I uh, yeah, for sure. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely me. worse. Yeah, definitely you, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you, I- you definitely sucked. <laughs> hey, listen to this, man. I hate to be a. I'm being a snitch right now, but I just want to clear the air. Anthony was ashamed to talk bananas and in no, pajamas in front of you. Uh, <laughs> what, really? No. <laughs> no. Damn, dog. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, uh, I just said that uh, I, 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 for some reason, I said bananas in pajamas. And then... Uh, Right when I said that, you cut out, and then he was like, "Well, now that Jake's gone, I can finally talk about it." <laughs> <laughs> yep, that that was our conversation. <laughs> yeah, the, the entirety, the substance you missed. Nice. Well, dude, you should you should never be ashamed of bananas and pajamas. No, never, dude. You know why? Never, because they're awesome. Why? They're in cool costumes. They're yellow. Did you guys watch the cartoon as well? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, no, I, I didn't even know there was. Actually, maybe I didn't. There, there was, was a cartoon. cartoon. Yeah. yeah. Who, who would you guys cast as live action? <laughs> <laughs> Bananas in pajamas. Oh, man. That's tough. Chris Pratt. <coughs> Chris Pratt. Yeah. <laughs> that was the obvious. Dude, yeah, wait. Time out. Before we do get into the episode, <laughs> do you guys want to touch on the little teaser trailer, the Mario teaser? I honestly still haven't watched it. Oh, really? Been, I just haven't got around to it. 
<clears throat> I thought it was dope. I liked it, honestly. Yeah, it looked cool. It looks, uh, animation looks good. The moment that I heard uh, Chris Pratt as Mario sucks. Yeah, well, we already knew he was going to suck. Though, like, you know, it's funny. I'm seeing a lot of memes where it's like, oh, it's just Chris Pratt's normal voice. And I like disagreed a little bit in the trailer. He like definitely does try to put on a voice. Maybe yeah, it's a voice, yeah, yeah. but it's just also Chris Pratt. Well, so I wish, and I think we've talked about this before. I just wish they got like good voice actors, man. You don't need like actors, actors to be cartoon characters, you know? I mean, Jack yeah, Black dude. as Bowser sounded great. Jack Black was awesome as Bowser. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, Keegan Michael Key is playing Toad, and he had a little line in the teaser. So it's like, it could be good, honestly. Yeah. I think it looks fun. I wanted I'll to see. hear a line from Luigi because that's Charlie Day. Early day. Seth Rogen is playing Donkey Kong. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly really good. Is it? I don't know if I would hear his voice as Donkey Kong. And I don't want to hear that fucking laugh of his either. <laughs> oh, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh, God. Oh, remember, God. remember Cody predicted Chris Pratt would be the voice of Mario in the movie? Really? Yeah, Cody predicted it. It was one of the very it, first it was episodes. One of the first Cody Feige things. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one of the first Cody oh. Feige things. Yeah, <laughs> that was what I was just teasing the genius that is Cody <laughs> Feige. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, I'm still down to see it. I don't really give a shit. No, I'm going to watch it too. Yeah, we're all gonna, we're all going to watch it. I'm going to we'll even do to an take episode. KO, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed of going to see the Super Mario movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just being dramatic for fun. Did you know what else is pretty dramatic? <laughs> and fun. <laughs> <laughs> I said this up before. You guys totally were like, nah. You did, but then Cody kept going with bananas and pajamas. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't shit cut out? What happened? No, no, no. no. The- nothing cut out. Oh, Damn, I'm t- I'm sorry. I was sorry, really actually. focused on. I was really <laughs> no, focused yeah, you, on. You beat. can't just bring up the greatest yeah. duo known to man. <laughs> <in the next laughs> not to talk about it. Dude, it name a better duo. Yes, yeah, <laughs> we don't even I, know their names. They're just yeah. bananas and pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else is bananas? In- <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> Our boy Madam. <laughs> Mad- Mad- I thought you called him Madam. <laughs> no, Matt oh, M. Matt M, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maddie Murdoch. Maddie Murdoch, aka Daredevil. Dairy Devs. Today we're doing Daredevil Yellow. What'd you say? <laughs> Dairy Devs. Dairy Devs. <laughs> Dairy Devs. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> uh, Daredevil, Yellow by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. All right, Pete. Uh, I read this early on because I have the full book, but I also have each individual issue. Nice. Of Daredevil Yellow. Daredevil Yellow and Spider-Man Blue, I have each individual issue of. Nice. Bam. Nice. Yeah. They're pretty cool. And uh, this is a really, this actually, I think, was the comic for me that turned me on to Daredevil because I think after this, I started reading like all of Frank Miller and Klaus Johnson's run on Daredevil. Ooh, which is just the classic run. Yeah, this might have been one of the first Daredevil comics I read. Like when I first started collecting a lot of comics, paperback comics, like, you know, not like single issues or anything like that, but like I would kind of search out like origin stories or, or stories I could collect that's like, all right. I just have a kind of like definitive Daredevil stories or Spider-Man stories, you know, like not a huge collection, but just like the the key stories. And like, I don't know, this one was like one of the first I read. And I was like, cool, this is awesome. If you never read Daredevil, this could be your first Daredevil comic. Yeah. 
It would be a great one. Right? Also yeah. a depressing, like a very mm. bittersweet one. Oh, it's a Ooh, very yeah. emotional, very sad book overall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's almost little humor in it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of silly and cheesy, like <clears throat> in a good way. If you read all of their their Marvel color things, Spider Man Blue, Hulk Gray, Captain America White, they're all pretty like morbid, low key. Right. Yeah, because nice. the whole narration in this in this one is that Matt Murdock is writing a letter to Karen Page, who's dead. Who's dead? Yeah. How did she get killed? Bullseye. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, Bullseye kills her. Fuck yeah. Had a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck Harry yeah. Page, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got some Karen Page haters on this podcast, huh? Yeah, yeah dude. Sorry. <laughs> I don't fuck with Karen. Karen Page does not rank up there with like the Marvel women. What? She ain't no Mary Jane. She ain't no Betty Ross. <laughs> she's, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, she's dude, not. Yeah. She's, she's not Betty Brandt. <laughs> she's not even Betty Brandt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Damn, you rank her low. You really have Gwen no love. Stacy. Like she, I think she falls pretty low on the totem pole of Marvel girlfriends. So you think Matt Murdock should have gotten mm-hmm. over her quickly? Like, why is he dealing with her so much? <sighs> Yeah, dude, I would have been throwing her to the curb. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of those situations where, like, he has he has to at least like put on a sad face. But he's not actually sad. (laughs) Writing writing the letter is almost like him gloating about her being dead. <laughs> uh, we're completely bastardizing this. Yeah, what a dark art. interpretation <laughs> of this story. <laughs> Look, you'll fuck Karen Page. I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a really good book, though, honestly. And the art, once again, like, dude, fucking Tim Sale's art, man. Yeah. And every time. And every time. R.I.P. Tim Sale. That he died this year. He did. That yeah. He did. R.I.P. to the goat. He's great. Yeah, One dude. of the best. Banger. Yeah, straight banger. So unique and distinct in like a powerful way for comics. Like you know when he's at the helm. Yeah. Yeah, like you always know. Yeah, you know when Tim Sale's there, he's about to bring that fuego. <laughs> Hot fire. <laughs> yeah. Tim Sale is pretty much like the Kurt of the comic book art. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think he deserves that. I think yeah. I think they both deserve that for each other. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt and Tim Sale. Yeah, for a brief moment when Kurt was talking, I was like, Tim Sale, is that you? <laughs> 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 for a moment he just broke through from the afterlife yeah. occupied Kurt's body just to connect with Jake really quickly you know, you know how in like certain comics it'll like show like a like an asterisk and like no. at the bottom it's like uh, to see what we're talking see about issue number two yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, you gotta like, listen to the wedding <laughs> episode to understand who, yes, who so, knows yeah. who Kurt is yeah. <laughs> See wedding episode. <laughs> that would be kind of cool to start doing that. Right. <laughs> oh. Dude, I hope we just continue to talk about Kurt on this podcast forever. I think um. As long as there's breath in my lungs, <laughs> I'll always talk about Kurt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's yeah. talk about Matt for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Murdoch, the blind lawyer from Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. Well, you know, this is this is like a, a good like starter Daredevil book, but you don't really get his origin. Like you don't get what happens to de- to him as a kid. Like they re- they True, talk about it, it, it does, but yeah, you gotta I like to this know origin because it. it's more of like a character dive, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Right. It's not so yeah. important you get that to see a his truck. Classic yellow suit. Yeah, which I'm yeah. a fan of. I'm a fan of the classic yellow suit. To be honest, always have been. Yeah, I like both for sure. Oh yeah, definitely both. But I do like the yellow because I think it's such a like it's weird. <laughs> but it's yeah. also cool that like I like how the book ends. Like they like do make him blind. He's like, yeah, well, hopefully this costume looks better than the first one. He's like, I'm told it's red or something yeah or he i think he like he, he said the last box is him saying something that he doesn't know what the color is well i mean yeah and also he makes 
I like that the costume is made from his dad's trunks. Boxing attire. Yeah. That's that's cool. That's what makes the yellow like even if it makes no sense, it makes sense for that. Like, okay, that's that's part of his like dad's attire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his, his and and his dad's guinea tea. Now that he like wears that pretty much yeah. like his workout tank. Yeah. 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 Daredevil is a cool like street level Marvel character. Yeah, and yes. it's cool watching him progress as the book goes on from like street level to like super villains. Yeah. Fucking Owlsley and Purple Man. Mm. The Owl, man. What a weird dude. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> what a weird character. That was good. That's I was good. I don't know. Like Cody as the owl. Read, read that like uh, yeah, Cody, you're the owl. <laughs> Uh, this comic is the first time I personally ever uh, heard about the purple man. Yeah. And then I kind of like deep dived into him and I'm like a huge fan of the purple man. Yeah, the I like purple man's pa- terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I like his powers and I really like him in Jessica Jones. I mean, yeah, I like, yeah, he, he's like arguably the single best villain out of the Marvel series. Oh yeah. yeah. He's definitely David Tennant's purple man. Yeah. I hope they bring him back. Yeah. I really do. I hope they bring him back and I hope they make him fucking purple, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, make I'm him purple lie. for real. <laughs> yeah, like don't just make his suits purple because like that's easy, but like make his skin purple. CGI. If you can make She-Hulk green, then yeah. make him purple. I was going to say, I like how in this Daredevil has like a quick caption where he's like, this was the first time I met him, but later on, probably referencing like the actual comic where he meets purple man. He's like, Oh, because I couldn't see his purple aura. It didn't affect me, which, which I didn't know was a thing with daredevil and purple man. I always thought it was just kind of like a pheromone or some weird shit like that. It, I mean, I guess in this one, it's the aura shit. Yeah. That's what no, I mean. If you, this, like, it you has Google that. it, it's, it's definitely pheromones. I feel like he would be able to fuck. Yeah. With they daredevil. probably changed it as the years went on and updated it. It tweaked it a bit. Yeah. Yeah, just because like if Daredevil's senses are heightened, I feel like pheromones is something that would really affect him. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, like that's almost that almost be a part where like his powers work against him. Yeah, and that would be a cool story arc for him. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, that would be cool. Make the Purple Man like a like a legit like kind of threat. You know, yeah, not just a little fucker. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He was kind of a monster in Jessica Jones. <laughs> no, he already well, he was a straight monster in Jessica Jones. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Who are the three villains in this? Is it the Owl, Bullseye, and Purple Man? No, Bullseye's not in this yeah. one. Electro's in it. Oh no. Electro, Electro Owl, Purple, Purple Man. Man. Yeah, no Kingpin, no Bullseye. There's a mention, but that's it. Yeah. In the letter segment. Right. No Electra. Uh, you guys should read Daredevil. I think it's called. Mm, I actually don't know if this is the title, but for some reason, End of Days is in my head. Or End Days. or Anyways, Bill Sanzowick does the art for it. And it's uh, it's fucking sick. It starts off with Daredevil being killed, actually. Oh, it like takes place in the future? Uh, not like future, future. No, I'm still like New York. I mean, do you mean future like high tech gizmos and shit? Or like just, no, like, I'd like his future. A later I mean, time. Like he's older. Isn't it? No, no, no. He he gets killed in his prime, and he has like, and then someone else starts being Daredevil, oh. and the Punisher, the Punisher like hunts him down, and he's like, he's like, just know if you get out of line, I'm gonna put you down. But it's a sick story. End of days. I think it's called End Days or End of Days. But Bill Sansawick does the art, so if you just like Daredevil in that, you'll find it nice. But dude, it like starts with like him getting brained by fucking Bullseye with his like staff. He like just like Damn. smacks him in the head. Like the, the art is like you see Bullseye like Daredevil's on his knees and Bullseye just like cracks him on one side of the head and then it almost looks like he just got like JFK'd on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but, That's so, rad. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. You also find out my man Daredevil was straight slinging dick because he has a lot of bastard sons out there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Daredevil stay slinging dick. Maddie M was not <laughs> Maddie M. <laughs> Dude, he yeah. was not uh he was not a one woman man, you know what no, I mean? No, real heroes are not. <laughs> <laughs> real heroes are. But in this, he was young and naive, you know what I mean? Yeah, he didn't know no better. He was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, this was like, I, this, like a. Part of this was like, honestly, like the, it was mad corny, but the courtship of Matt and uh, Karen Page, Mm. it was like a huge part of this book. 
you know? Yep, and Foggy. Foggy also, you know, had a thing for Karen. They're both, you know. Foggy doesn't have that swag, though. No, Foggy never <laughs> yeah. had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys feel about Foggy Nelson as a character in Marvel? Kill him. What? Right? <laughs> uh, no, I kind of agree. Him. Yeah. Murder him, dog. Brutally, too. <laughs> <laughs> Give Daredevil something to hunt over. He's Matt Murdock's Artie Bucco. He needs someone to ground him as a human. <laughs> he's, he's totally Matt Murdock's Artie Bucco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when yeah, you picture like that, I like him more. But... <laughs> That's 100% who he is. Yeah, but even in the show, I'm just like, you know, if Foggy dies, I'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. He just won't die. He's like the character that's just like, oh, I survived somehow when Bullseye exploded the office. Yeah, like a like Electra and and Karen Page and all the women in Daredevil's universe die, but Foggy survives. Yeah. I feel like Electra would be like it would be pathetic to kill you. Like that's how you survive or something like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah dude, Foggy's a straight bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No respect for Foggy or Karen Page on this podcast. Apparently. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, fuck that. We don't respect them. I like, I like my Daredevil brooding and alone. Yeah. <laughs> He's often depicted as having a relationship with uh, Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. In this Bill Sandswick book, he has a, a bastard child with Natasha. That makes sense. Yeah, and like other women. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, slang and dick. <laughs> ben Urich is also missing from this from this Daredevil book. He's mentioned. He's mentioned. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely mentioned. Also, I don't know. I don't really know how. Like Ben Urich is cool. I don't need him in the, anything. No, I'm just thinking like it is like still, <laughs> still like a definitive Daredevil book. Uh, but it, it's just missing some of the core cast. Like so, like the Fantastic Four make an appearance. Yeah, they do in their classic f- car. Thingy. Yeah, Fantastic Car. The fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous, dude. I think that it was, was like, yeah, yeah. The whole scene where Ben Grimm just bursts through the yeah. wall, <laughs> Matt Murdock. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that would be you, Cody. Come on, you're Ben Grimm. <laughs> but we know Cody hates the Fantastic Four. Yeah, true. As like for the most part, do I? Honestly, oh, I didn't mind them in this book. I just think like they why, they didn't need to be there. No. <laughs> no, but like it was, it was like they were, they were the first clients, yeah. so that was cool. Like I don't know if that's a thing in the comics, and they or they just reworked it for this story. Like I don't know enough about Daredevil's history to know if like you know what I mean. Like I've read the other books you were talking about too, and I'm sure like they incorporate like the real moments from the comics, but they're just you know like Daredevil fighting Electro is probably something that happens in early on in Daredevil, but it's it's cool because it's just like, how is Daredevil going to beat Electro? But he does. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Electro's pretty, pretty powerful, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. They, Electro's powerful, but he's definitely a, a villain they constantly do dirty. I agree. Yeah. I agree completely. If you were to really, like, yeah, he would actually, like, fuck shit up in real life. Yeah. It would be almost impossible to take that man down. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. A blind man? Get out of here. Oh, well, dude. Are you an ableist, bro? <laughs> Again, I, I, so, by saying a blind man couldn't beat a man that could like control electricity? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that's a I couldn't. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that I'm better than Daredevil or anything crazy like that. <laughs> but are I'm you saying, saying you're better than a blind man? <laughs> do you, yeah. Do you think Stevie Wonder could take out Electra? <laughs> Dude, Stevie Wonder would make Electro turn side become good. Yeah, I feel like he would. You know? Yeah. Nah, Electro would take him easily. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now I want to see this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Wonder and Electra. <laughs> oh. I think if Stevie Wonder had an electric piano, he might be able to like like absorb Electro and fucking <laughs> like, yeah, oh, tickle yeah, ivory. Stuck him like, in. Yeah, yes. stuck him in. Use him to make sick songs. <laughs> yeah. Songs in the key of life, you know? <laughs> 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 nah, see the king. The king Kim would find out Stevie Wonder's performing at like Radio City or something, 
and he gets Electro to go into the piano and on the last note of like, isn't she lovely or some shit, he gets <laughs> zapped. He's just like, oh, oh shit. Come on. Spider-Man's got to cool. save him though. See, maybe, but I think what would be cooler, same thing's about to happen. Electro's about to kill him. But Stevie Wonder rips off his mask and it's Daredevil the whole time. Oh. <laughs> He's wearing rubber gloves. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I knew you would be at the Stevie Wonder concert, Electro, so I planned ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy couldn't do that shit. Nah, no <laughs> way. Foggy would die in this scenario. Electro kills Foggy first. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we all like. We, I feel like we all like think Daredevil's a dope hero and just like hate his supporting cast. I hate. His, I don't hate his villains though. Bullseye, I think, is like Bullseye is honestly one of my favorite Marvel characters. Yeah, I like his costume. I used to have this sick. I probably still do in New York. You used to have this sick bullseye action figure. like. Oh, I remember. F- you showed me. Oh, yeah. See? The Colin nice. Farrell one? No, no, no. This is like an old 90s one. The Colin Farrell one. Fuck. <laughs> That's a cool one. Yeah, it's the best one. Yeah, bullseye. He No, Daredevil has some great villains. Also has some great history with like Kingpin and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Their clashing is like legendary. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I like I like Daredevil always fighting Kingpin as Kingpin's a great villain. And I feel like no no matter what era you pick it up, like Daredevil always has like a good something going on with him. Like I like really read the most. Like I read Brian Michael Bendis's run, which was great. And then right after that, Ed Brubaker does a run, which was great. There's one by Charles Soule, which is great. The current run by Chib Zartsky is great. Mark Wade. Mark Wade's run is great. Yeah, there's just so many good ones, and they're kind of like back to back to back to back to back. Like you can't go wrong with Daredevil. <laughs> Yeah, Daredevil is one of those characters that's like, honestly, like he's a fantastic character, but Marvel like doesn't he's underutilized, which I kind of am grateful for. I'm glad yeah. he's like not on it every I feel team. Like he's also and, underrated. Yeah, I don't want to see Daredevil like in space fighting. Yeah, he shouldn't. Be no, like Kang or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, no. Like, like I almost like also like that's another thing like going forward I, like from here on out I don't want to see Spider Man go any farther I mean he'll definitely be on the Avengers team but it's like all right like keep keep him I like New York street characters being in New dude York. he went far from home yeah he went far from home and then no way home he's not going further than that bro he's coming back yeah. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming back, back home, home. Nice. he's home. He's home. There's one cool thing they did with Daredevil <laughs> in recent times where they kind of expanded him just really sh- like briefly outside of all of that, where he became the Heimdall of um, what? Yeah, That's he ridiculous. became Heimdall for a little bit, where he like had the sword and he was in charge of the Rainbow Bridge, uh, which I thought was pretty cool because Heimdall could see everything. So suddenly he was still blind, but he had that ability. So. I don't know. It was just a cool moment for Daredevil. It was only for like, you know, a couple of issues, but he kind of had like this big like winter coat for like Game of Thrones S coat on and he's got a, like a huge ass sword and his eyes look like the universe. That's crazy. Right. That's cool. Is that very recent? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say like 2015, maybe. That sounds realistic. <laughs> what you got, What you got going on over there, Jake? Huh? I'm just high, man. <laughs> sleep. I took it like a five hour nap today. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is that even a nap after like the five <laughs> hours? <laughs> 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 I guess you're right. <laughs> What's the you time when it cut off? For me? I went to sleep for like five Yeah, hours. you went to sleep. Not- <laughs> <laughs> no. I say if you're, I say if you're doing like over four. What four is the limit? Four, four is pushing it. I say three is pushing it. I think mine was closer to four. I say but like I say- naps. It's never like a deep sleep for me. Yeah. Mm. It's almost like how when sharks <laughs> scream, they still move. <laughs> what? It's like when sharks. What? Sharks when they sleep, they're still moving. Yeah. Are you For me, that's what napping is like. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's insane. <laughs> napping is. 
<laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. So roll Jake over so he's upside down when he's sleeping, and that is it. catatonic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like this episode is going to be like ninety <laughs> percent of like not Daredevil yellow. <laughs> yeah. Because it is like a pretty like. I don't want to it's say a pretty short book. Yeah, it's short. Off. It's it's only six. It's straightforward and simple. We've barely yeah. talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't talked about the synopsis at all. Well, the synopsis. The synopsis. You want me to do it? I'll do it. I'll yeah. do. I'll do the synopsis right. for Daredevil. Uh, yeah, yeah, give it. Give it to our boy. Take the reins here. <laughs> Yeah, take the reins, big boy. Take the reins. Okay, so here we go. So Daredevil Yellow. It's Daredevil, Matt Murdock's writing a letter to a dead Karen Page. He's like pretty much writing about how he first puts on the costume to become Daredevil. Then each issue, we're kind of getting like little moments as he's like starting the law firm with Foggy and Karen. And then as he's like starting to fight crime and like Karen's like, oh shit, I want to fuck Daredevil. And she's like, fuck you, Mad and Foggy. Like, I don't give a shit about you guys. And like every <laughs> every issue is them kind of like fighting over her in their own way. And like Matt Murdock either taking on Electro, like we were saying, or the Owl or, or somebody like that. But just kind of having like these small character moments that are kind of hard to just be like, because it just happens. But in the context of the story, it's like, it's a cool moment. Like you get to see Matt Murdock is more than just like this guy that's like brooding. And like Cody was saying before, like just by himself, like he's not that character in this. Mm. No. He's also one of the few ginger characters out there. <laughs> yep, this is true. <laughs> Both in Marvel and DC, I think maybe Guy Garner is the like DC equivalent as far as gingers go. We got Wally West. He's a ginger. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, Wally West. But are we talking about Black Wally West? Because Black Wally West is not a ginger. Wallace West? No, I'm talking about Wally West. I think in some iterations, Wally West is now portrayed. Which one has the yellow costume? That's Wallace West. That's what they call uh, dude, him now, Wallace on the, West. On the, on the CW Flash, he's black, bro. Yeah, that's on the CW Flash, yeah. it's just, I mean, yeah, that's Wally West. Either way, the Wally West you're talking about <laughs> has red hair. Yeah. The traditional Wally West in the DC Universe is definitely um, a ginger. But yeah, no, there's not a lot. I can't think of really anybody else off the top. Jimmy Olsen, right? He's a redhead. Fuck, fuck, fuck Jimmy Olsen. Um, <laughs> you hate Pyro. <laughs> Pyro. Py- okay, there's Pyro. Is he or is he blonde hair? He might be blonde. I only don't know because I used to have a toy. I don't like, remember. <laughs> if I have to look it up, it, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so. Daredevil Yellow. She was dope. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> he is a redhead or blonde. He could be both, I guess. <laughs> Strawberry blonde. Yeah. Ooh. A little bit of both. Ooh, nice little bit of. <laughs> hey, if if that's all we have to say about Daredevil Yellow, this could be a short one. It's all good. I mean, uh, yeah. What do you? You guys haven't said much. You're Anthony. You're quiet on this episode. I think I said more than Cody. What? I feel like crazy. I've talked a lot about crazy stuff, but not no. <laughs> really talked a ton about Daredevil Yellow. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't. Okay, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. <laughs> don't um, force it. Yeah, don't weird. force it. Let it flow. I liked the Daredevils. Uh, the Daredevil. <laughs> I like Daredevil. <laughs> I like Daredevil's uh, battle with Purple Man. I know we talked a little bit about him. Just but, copy uh, what we, I say, pretty much. I'm going to fucking <laughs> kill you. <laughs> I was just saying, like, it was cool while he was, like, while they were battling each other about how, like, basically every group of people was, like, a new threat for Daredevil and shit. Mm. It was just, like, insane watching it unfold, cause, like, with everybody literally turning purple around him and stuff. Yeah. Mm. It was crazy. It was a, That was, like, definitely the most, like, action-packed, like, high-risk thing. You know what I mean? During the owl, I wasn't threat. You know what I mean? Some dude named the Owl wasn't going to fuck him up, you know? Yeah, I would swing on the Owl. He seems like an old bitch. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's got big old bug eyes. <laughs> yeah. The Owl never seems like a threat, but he always fucks people up. Like, he's kind of insane. Like, he could, like, he'll, like, bite you and do weird shit like that. 
<laughs> he bites man. Whole fight's How many no, people? no holds bars. You know what I mean? He, he's out for blood. He's just doing the best he can. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the Brian Michael Bendis run, Owl, or is it the Ed Brubaker run? I don't remember, but part of those runs, Owl like starts to build up his his like squad. Like he starts to like gun for kingpin role, and he oh, starts shit. like getting mutant growth hormone and like putting hit people, getting people addicted to it and selling it. Like, and that's how he like gets power. It's pretty cool. My man's is wildin. Yeah, dude, I was unpredictable <laughs> in a silly way. Right. <laughs> That's why I say he's kind of like Penguin, but definitely not as successful or smooth as as smooth yeah, as he might be. Yeah. Yeah, he's like the penguin. He's like Bizarro Penguin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally has like talents, and it's just like. <laughs> like sure, making yeah. those weird noises. How does he fly exactly? Because he doesn't have wings, but he just like takes off. I don't know. I really don't dude, know. Nobody, he does. Dude, in the book, he flies, but he dude, he's an enigma, anything. man. Nobody yeah. knows anything about him. He calls himself <laughs> the owl, dude. He's insane. <laughs> I thought his full full name is like Mr. Owlsley or something. Like that's yeah, but, his, but he literally if, if that's the case it's hilarious that he was like <laughs> you don't have to know my name but you can call me the owl but oh, his yeah. name is actually owls oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's wild oh did you guys also <laughs> notice that man murdoch's dad is boxing crusher creel who's the absorbing man yeah yeah, right. I doubt he he doesn't have the powers yet, so it's like him pre powers. No. Yeah, just being a big old boxer that gets knocked out by his dad. Yeah, Leland Owlsley is his name, <laughs> and he's like, "You can't know my name. Call me the Owl." That's yeah, fucking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's great. That, that's so great, you great. definitely that's know insane. that if he's, if he's probably going to be popping up in the Daredevil Disney Plus series, they're going to make that joke. They 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 always make the joke with the names, and that's like on the table right there. Like if you don't make yeah. fun of that name at this point, then that's like, <laughs> what are you doing, Disney? But I guess we can't talk about the Daredevil yellow moment in She Hulk because you haven't seen it yet, Cody. No, I'm fi- I'm catching up this morning. This, this tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> I will just say that it was fucking person. awesome. I did like that moment. It was cool. We'll talk about it when it we talk cool. the She Hulk. But uh, Shulk, Shulk, <laughs> Shulk. Well, how many Joe Peasies we given this bad boy? Also, by the way, welcome to Comics and Chronic. <laughs> we've never <laughs> we, we, we did an intro the show this time, so <laughs> we're uh, we're a bit rusty. We're not on a tight schedule anymore. It's true. It's been a long time. <laughs> long time coming. Long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> how many Joe Pesci's? I want one of you guys to go first. I feel like I liked it a lot more until we started talking about it. I think I let your guys' negativity ruin it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't have anything negative yeah, to say. None about. of us said anything negative about the comic. I we love just, it. I love we just yeah. talked about other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like I just like the Jeff Loeb Tim Sale team. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Always enjoyable. They're always producing fire. It's no ha- long Halloween, but it doesn't want to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah, it's definitely no long Halloween or any of those, but uh, that's like a, yeah, the short, sweet, and simple book. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why it's kind of hard to like, it's just like, it's great. It's just like, read it. It's like, it's, you're done with it. Put it on your shelf. Have it forever. Yeah, exactly. You can like read it so fast. <laughs> read it again. Yeah, you can. Yeah, read it's a it. nice, really, a it's nice a little read. afternoon. Hmm. <laughs> you know. All right, I'll give it a six. Oh, 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 oh! Because I enjoy it. Yeah, I like it too. I'll give it five point seven. Oh god! So let me say this, Cody. You're not going to give it a six. <laughs> not give it five point seven. <laughs> the devil himself isn't going to get a six from you. Oh, damn! True, daredevil. Getting the triple six, so I guess I won't give oh, it a damn. six either. Then I was thinking, oh. like, oh. if both these guys give it a six, there's no reason for me not to give it a six. But if Cody's not giving it a six, oh, but Cody, what are your reasons yeah. for giving it a five? Well, what are the point three deduction for? 
<laughs> when you say it out loud, it's, it's ridiculous. All right, all right. Uh, here's my point three. Break down the math for this. Yeah. Okay, one point off. Foggy being such a sappy little bitch. <laughs> that's legitimate. Okay. Yeah, that's that's legit. legit. <laughs> uh, one point off for uh I feel like actually you know what <laughs> I'm I'm changing it up in in the spot I almost counted this as a negative but I'm gonna flip it and say that it's a positive that fucking <laughs> Car- that Kara Page is being a little slut for her daredevil and so she keeps getting herself into trouble fucking trying to. Trying to meet the man. I'm not trying to victim blame here, but, uh, you know. She does put herself in a lot of d- dangerous situations just to fuck Daredevil. <laughs> yeah. This is true. And I agree. You're Which not ultimately to blame, leads but- to her desi- demise. Exactly. Like, I don't want to victim blame either, but you can't just be like... <laughs> putting yourself in like supervillain situations for D all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. Not yeah. But here's why I'm saying it's a positive mm-hmm. because it ultimately leads to her demise. No, no more Karen page. Uh, so I'm looking at this <laughs> as a good thing. Yeah, that's true. And the D in this stands for death. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're back up to six. Oh, oh nice. I like the math. <laughs> it works out. Okay, so I have one more point that I can either take away uh-oh, uh-oh, and subtract. Right, and honestly, it. I can't. I can't <laughs> think of anything, any legitimate reason. What about Fantastic Four? I know I shouldn't have said it. Oh! <laughs> but do they reduce a point? And yet they're in it so briefly. Okay, they. I'm gonna say they're neutral <laughs> because while it is unnecessary and just like adds a layer of silliness to the comic for no reason, I feel like I'm not gonna take away a point for that because it only makes me feel more secure in my hatred of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> so it's doing that for me. Nice. So yeah. Okay, we're back at six, baby. Sorry oh, about that. Sexies. I faltered. You I faltered. faltered. No, it's okay. I'm glad we did a little calculating. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We gave it the most legitimate thing <laughs> yeah. we could. <laughs> dude, I had an old friend from my summer camp hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> and literally, he was like, he was like, why six for the Joe Pesci scale? And he's like, He's like, why Joe Pesci? He's like, what is the? He's like, how do you measure it? And I'm like, dude, I really like. It. <laughs> I like, I couldn't even tell you. Like, it just is what it is. Wait, why yeah, six? Because- why Joe Pesci? Dude, no, he was like, why, why rate it out of six and not ten or something? I mean, if you don't get that, then you, sh- you don't listen to me. <laughs> like, that's that's just on you. If you don't understand why Joe Pesci and why six, it has significance. We've talked about it. If you listen to every episode twice, you'll you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you That's play how it you backwards, it yeah. In your brain. <laughs> and if you share it with like three of your friends, <laughs> like then like you understand it even more. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but I guess I'll give Daredevil. I'll get. I guess I'll give it the same score as you guys because I mean. This, like said, reluctant. this is a good no no because I guess because I don't know am, am I am I am I are we rating the comic based on how much we could talk about it I guess not like that no but <laughs> like I don't know I don't need every like comic to be crazy detailed in yeah the, it was yeah, a f- right yeah. fun it was honestly just like a fun little character dive into who Daredevil was like some simultaneously really light and full of air and fun. Yeah. That's but also way. immensely depressing. <laughs> I agree. I agree yeah. with all that. Even the art itself is like pretty light and yeah. very like, like, like the color palette is very like yellow, beige, orange, red. And like, yeah, the way she acts is the way they like 
prefer, like portrayed like innocent women, like single women in like the fifties kind of, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude, that's why they killed her off is because she wasn't progressive enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely got a, I guess almost, I want to say silver age feel or definitely. Yeah. Definitely silver age feel. For sure. Almost like if, if the Mad Men universe took place like in Daredevil or Daredevil took place in the Mad Men. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> John Hamm as Daredevil. Ooh, that'd be sick. <laughs> Maybe a young John Hamm. Maybe, yeah. 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 Young John Hamm. Now he'd be better yeah. as Bruce Wayne. Slash Batman. Yeah. But it's definitely the kind of book where, again, if you've never read Daredevil, pick it up. If you've never read this book, definitely pick it up. Buy it. Like, put it on your shelf. Like, it's a good, it's a great book. Like, it doesn't matter that it's, like, that you could read it on your lunch break, you know? Like, it's still, like, it's still a great book. Mm -hmm. So, X. Easy Yeah, good book. Quick read. Like, honestly, like, I feel like... uh, I don't know why I was thinking I was going to be harsh. I feel like it's like a shelf, bookshelf essential after reading it. You know what I, I mean? I do agree as well. I think it deserves like, like if, you, if, you, if you're going to brag about having like good comics, I feel like Daredevil yeah. Yellow should be up there. Yeah, go out and buy it. Yeah. So, you know what that means? Daredevil Yellow, it gets a... Six, six, six. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by, Satan. We love you. We love you. Love you a cameo here. Dude. Uh, Fuck yeah. Satan for, comes from HQ, by the way. Whenever yeah. we talk about <laughs> HQ, we're it's talking Emily about Emily and the devil. They're the co leaders of this whole <laughs> they, they run HQ. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> we also have a comics and chronic robot, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring him on yet. Oh shit. Oh shit. Still Wait, like, what's his what's his name? Is he still being built? Uh yeah, definitely. Uh I, I don't have a name. I mean I, I I shouldn't name it, you know, like it's gonna come to life and it'll probably have thoughts of its own and it'll Oh hell no. I don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust that. Yeah, we should kill that. Yeah, I'm going to kill it immediately. <laughs> I, I think this is a project we should stop before. <laughs> the moment it gains sentience, I'm killing it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It might be too late for that, but... Uh, hey, you oh, Anthony! No. Oh, Anthony, you mad scientist, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Hey, but know, know, what else, know what else I cooked up? The Comics and Chronic Hotline, remember? Remember, oh, guys? Hey, has anyone have a hotline? In? No, because no one's heard about it yet. We haven't released the oh, episode yeah, where we talked right. about it. <laughs> we it. And here's another episode where we're releasing the number. Like, so here's so again, if you haven't heard about it, here's the Comics and Chronic Hotline. You're going to call this number. It's 929-483-6889. You call that number. You leave us a nice little voicemail. Maybe we'll put it in an episode. Or maybe we'll open up the hotline one day we're recording and you can come call in, talk to us for a little while. Ooh. But only if you uh, yeah, nice. write down that number or something. Put it in your phone. Don't write down that number. Or something. We'll never post it anywhere. Yeah, We're never yeah. going to tell you. Uh, hey, you have to listen. You got to be a true commie. Yeah. yeah. A true uh, commie. Is- also, we've been doing some giveaways lately. So if you guys want to yeah. participate and win some free comic books as well as some dope swag, uh, follow us on Instagram at Comics and Chronic. Same as Twitter. Yep. Hit us up. We're always posting cool shit to give away. There's winners out there. Basically, if you follow us, you're a winner. Yep. Also, I didn't realize we were saying in the other ones that uh, you could buy shirts on Tee Public, but also on our website, there's literally a, a section that you can click on shop and it takes you right to that website. See? Made it so easy yeah. for you guys. Go give our website shirts. some love. Comicsandchronic.com. <laughs> we love you. Peace be under y'all. Peace, peace be under y'all. Yeah. As-salamu alaykum. <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace. 